This video is brought to you by Raffle Press. In this video, you're going to learn about some of the best plugins on the market. Syed and I will cover some of our favorite plugins that extend the functionality of your website. And if you're really into increasing your social media following, then make sure you pay attention to number eight, where we give a bonus feature as well. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Number one. WB Forms. WB Forms is the best contact form and online form builder for WordPress. Every website needs a contact form. WB Forms allows you to do that without writing any code. It's a fully drag and drop interface. It comes with all the advanced form features that you would be looking for, such as conditional logic, um, you know, surveys, polls, payments, marketing integrations, form permissions, and a whole lot more. Basically, you can use it to create any type of online form that you want, whether it's a contact form, whether it's a payment form, a survey form, a newsletter sign-up form, a volunteer application form, job application form, you name it. It comes with over 100 different pre-made uh, form templates. So my number one uh, best plugin for WordPress that I install on every website is WP Forms. Now, if you're looking for an alternative, I always like to recommend alternative is formidable forms is a good alternative. It lets you do all, all the same stuff and some more advanced features as well. Number two is the Yoast SEO plugin. This is the best SEO plugin that you can find for WordPress. It's the most popular one and it has been downloaded multiple times. What Yoast SEO plugin does is it lets you use focus topics for focus keywords for your, for your article. It brings in the meta tags that are important to Google. So you can put those easily in all of your posts and pages and it generates a sitemap so you can, can, and it generates a sitemap so you can include that in your Google search console. All that means is it gives a list to Google so that Google knows what to crawl and what to index for your website. And you can also optimize it for social media and so much more. So Yoast is the number one plugin, and we would say our alternative plugin that you could use for your SEO purposes is all-in-one SEO pack. Number three is Monster Insights. You know, I always believe that it's easy to double your traffic when you know exactly how people find and use your website, and Monster Insights shows you the stats that matter. It is the number one WordPress analytics plugin, and it helps you connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, so all the right metrics are tracked with Google, and then it brings all of that data back from Google inside your WordPress dashboard so you can see all the site metrics in one place. Uh, the best part about Monster Insights is that it's pretty much point and click. It doesn't require you to hire a developer. Um, in the early days, this used to be really hard. Monster Insights makes it super easy, um, and that's why it's the number one uh, WordPress Analytics plugin in the market. The alternative for it would be exact metrics. Um, it does almost all the same things as Monster Insights. Number four is Beaver Builder. If you're looking to create your own theme or design your own theme pages, then Beaver Builder will do that for you. It's the easiest drag and drop page builder for your website. And what you can do is make it exactly look and feel how you want. Many business owners will use the Beaver Builder to make their own landing pages without sending it on to a developer to code for them. So Beaver Builder is our number one plugin for theme building. And then our alternative plugin would be the Divi Builder. Number five, Optin Monster. Optin Monster helps you get more email subscribers um, and improve your website sales conversion. So fun fact, over 70% of the people who visit your website at it. Fun fact, over 70% of the people abandoning your website will never return. Optin Monster lets you turn abandoning visitors into email subscribers and customers by using targeted messages, pop-up campaigns, floating bars, and tons of other personal, personalized messages that you can show to your website visitors at the, in the right place at the right time. And that's why Optin Monster rounds out our top five plugins that we use on almost all of our websites. Number six, insert headers and footers. If you're setting up a website, then many other websites ask you to either prove that you own the website or they want you to integrate into their services, things like Pinterest or Google Analytics. And a lot of times they tell you to add it into your theme header. Well, that's very intimidating for a lot of people. And so insert headers and footers makes this super easy where you simply insert the code after you install the plugin and you don't have to mess with any code on your theme. And this is really its own in its own category, but the only closest thing that we would say as an alternative would be if you need to integrate with Google Analytics, then the Monster Insights Lite will let you integrate with Google Analytics. But as we said before, Monster Insights will let you see a lot more of your analytics on your website. Number seven, shared counts. So 
almost every website that you visit has social sharing buttons like Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Pinterest, et cetera. Most of those scripts will slow down your website. Shared Counts plugin by Bill Erickson is the fastest and the most lightweight social media plugin for WordPress that allows you to add share, share buttons on your blog posts and blog pages without slowing down your website. Uh, the second alternative to that would be sassy social share. And we'll leave the link in the description for that as well. Yeah. And if I can say, I love the shared counts plugin because they also have a little add on feature where you can do Pinterest. So if you're interested in Pinterest, it lets you add your pin easily. Whereas a lot of other plugins will make you pay for that. So I really love that feature. Number eight, WP Mail SMTP makes email deliverability easy for WordPress. If you need your website to send and receive emails, then you want to use the WP Mail SMTP plugin. See, most hosting companies are not optimized to send emails. So WP Mail SMTP takes care of that issue. And this is great if you have a website like an e-commerce store, a membership site, or even just a quote form or a contact form on your website that is crucial to your business, then make sure you have this plugin set up. Number nine is Updraft Plus. It is the number one backup plugin for WordPress. Backups are your first and last resort for website security in case anything goes wrong. This is like your time machine for your website. Um, Updraft Plus is free, but they also have you know paid extensions and it is the most popular backup solution. It is a must have for every website. If you're looking for an alternative backup buddy, and Jetpack backups are both really good. The advantage of Jetpack backups is it does real-time backups um, and super easy, but it's a little more pricier, whereas Updraft Plus has a free version. Number 10 is WP Rocket. This is a perfect plugin if you are having issues with your site speed and you want to improve your site speed. What it will do is it automatically turns on recommended WordPress caching settings like the gzip compression, page cache, any cache preloading, all these technical things that you see that you need to do, but nobody really knows what that means. You can also turn on optional features like lazy load on your images. You can also do C CDN support, DNS prefetching, minification, and several other things that will improve the page load time. They also offer a free image optimization service. So you can take a look and see how that works for you. Now, an alternative that we would suggest would be WP Supercache. It is a free plugin, but is not as powerful or easy to set up. Number 11 is MemberPress. If you want to restrict content on your website or create a membership website to sell premium content or courses, MemberPress is by far the most popular membership plugin for WordPress. It is their hands down go-to for building a membership site. A good alternative would be Restrict Content Pro, but MemberPress is, is the go-to winner. It has integrates with almost all payment platforms, popular ones, integrates with email marketing services. So for building a membership site with WordPress, MemberPress makes it easy. Number 12, CSS Hero plugin. This is a great plugin if you already have a theme that you love, but you need to make some tweaks. Things like adjusting your fonts or your font type, your font size, maybe the line height of your theme. CSS Hero does all that. It's almost like a CSS translator for your theme. Now, CSS Hero is not a full on drag and drop page builder like Divi or Beaver Builder. So if you need something like that, then you'll want to use Beaver Builder. But if you need some minor tweaks or some major tweaks on your site for the look and feel of it, then use CSS Hero. Number 13 is Raffle Press. It is the most powerful giveaway and contest plugin for WordPress. It helps you grow your email list, your website traffic, and your social media power, and your social media followers by using the power of viral giveaways and contests. Essentially, you you can you know give away a prize in exchange for people sharing your content, um, leaving comments, following you on various social media platforms, and it really helps you use that the power of word of mouth advertising to kickstart your website and help you get more followers and customers. And there's really no other alternative for it in WordPress. Almost all other alternatives are in the SaaS space and they charge per month pricing and they're really expensive. Raffle Press is the hands down winner in the WordPress market. Number 14 is Seedprod. This is one of the first plugins that I will install when I get a new website. And that's because Seedprod is a great coming soon page. And that's because Seedprod adds a great and beautiful coming soon page to your website. And also adds a little bit more functionality, like you can do a countdown for your page. You can also do a countdown for your website. You can also add email signup for people and even add some social media integrations so you people can share your website before it comes. And so Seedprod is one of our favorite ones to get started. 
Number 15 is LearnDash. It is the most popular learning management solution for WordPress. So it works seamlessly with MemberPress. You can use MemberPress to restrict permissions and then use LearnDash to create courses, and break it down into you know, modules and track the you know, progress for students, add quizzes for various um, you know, modules and a whole line. So LearnDash is really, really powerful um, and by far the best LMS solution for WordPress. And a close alternative that we also like recommending is uh, Lifter LMS. We love both teams. They have phenomenal products and they're both really good for building uh, learning management solutions and courses in WordPress. Number 16 is Pretty Links Pro plugin. If you're serious about adding affiliate marketing to your website, then this is the plugin management tool that you need for your website. What it does is it takes those ugly looking links that you get from your affiliate program and it makes them pretty, thus the Pretty Links Pro name. What you can do is manage them all in one location. And this is great if you change affiliate programs. Say you go from Bob's widgets to Sally's widgets, you can change the links in the back end, but your links that the users see don't change. This is also great when you go to sell your website. It's easy to update all of your affiliate links for the buyer and it makes it all easier for you. And an alternative that we would recommend would be Thirsty Affiliates that also does link management for your site. Number 17 is WPML, short for WordPress Multilingual. If you're looking to translate your website in various different languages, maybe you're targeting a European audience and you want your website in German and Spanish and French and Italian and all those things, uh, all the various different languages, WPML makes it easy. Um, from a one interface inside your WordPress dashboard, you can translate your content, make sure it's SEO friendly um, and it's easy to manage um, for your team. A good alternative for a multilingual plugin in WordPress is Translate Press. That's also a very, very powerful solution. WPML was the original one, but there's several new um, and powerful solutions that are coming to the market and Translate Press is, is one to definitely check out. Number 18 is WooCommerce. If you're serious about setting up a store for your website, then you want to use WooCommerce. This integrates completely with your WordPress website and it has grown into over 4 million websites using WooCommerce. It also has its own little e-commerce ecosystem. So you can add any add-on you can think of for your shop. An alternative that we would recommend would probably be BigCommerce. It is a separate shopping cart installation that you would use, but it has a big commerce plugin that installs on your WordPress website that brings in all of the products that you want to sell on your site. So that would be our alternative. But WooCommerce is the de facto e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Now that you know some of our favorite plugins, let's talk about some of our favorite tools. In this section, we want to cover some of those bonus tools that we use for all of our websites and all of our properties. So let's take a look at those now. The number one tool that we always use outside of the WordPress plugins is G Suite. It helps us make the professional business email address. So when you email WP Beginner, it'll be like support at WPBeginner.com instead of WP Beginner support at gmail.com, right? Because one looks way more professional than the other. G Suite also allows us to have the power of Google Calendar, Google Drive, and all of the other Google tools, but for our business. And it is a tool that we use in the WP Beginner organization for all of our team members so we can have professional business email addresses and all of the awesome things that Google has to offer. A uh, good alternative is of course Office 365 by Microsoft. Number two is Constant Contact. If you're serious about growing your email list, then Constant Contact is the perfect email marketing solution for your website. This will integrate seamlessly into many of the plugins we talked about, such as WP Forms, OptiMonster, SeedProd, and so many more. Your list will grow. It's easy for you to use. It's very intuitive. They have beautiful themes, email templates that you can use to send to your list. Then our alternatives would be Send in Blue or ConvertKit. They're great alternatives if you want something a little bit more advanced, but they are a little pricier to handle. Number three uh, would be Nextiva. It helps us create a professional like business phone numbers for our website. Um, you want to offer your website users many ways to contact you. Contact forms are, of course, very important, but some people just prefer to call. And uh, Nextiva helps you get a professional business phone number without having a landline. You can you know, use their app to receive phone calls on your cell phone and your, through your desktop or your tablet. Um, it also has all the advanced like, features that you would think only big businesses have access to, but they make it available for a small business, like the voicemail greeting, you know, the auto attendant, and everything. 
and this works really well. And it, this is what we use uh, for our business phone number at WP Beginner. A good alternative is Ring Central. They're also another very popular provider. Number four is SEMrush. We love using this tool. It is perfect for when you're first starting out to when you're growing your site to when you're an established site. You can do things like keyword research on your site. You can do site audits, competitive analysis on your competitors. You can also do content audits to make sure that you're writing the best post or the best article for your readers and so much more. So we love SEMrush and it's what we use here at WP Beginner. A great alternative is Ahrefs, which does many of the same things and will be great for your site. Number five is Sucuri. It is a website application firewall. It helps uh, protect your website from malware, DDoS attacks and everything. This is what we use on WP Beginner. Um, it also helps speed up your website because Sucuri is a firewall and a CDN. Um, a good alternative uh, would be either Mac CDN by StackPath they have a firewall and CDN combination or a Cloudflare, which is also very, very popular. The advantage of Cloudflare is free, but the free version is a little limited, so a lot of people use that. But Sucuri, if you want the pro features, Sucuri offers a way more competitive pricing than um, Cloudflare, for example. So we recommend using at least one of these three solutions to make sure that your website is protected and you have a firewall um, that's blocking all the attacks while speeding up your website. So check out Sucuri. Thanks for sticking around to the end. These are some of our favorite plugins and tools that we use on all of our properties. And we hope that this helps you increase your traffic and build your business with your website as well. Next, leave a comment in the description below and tell us about some of your favorite plugins that you use on your website. And thanks for watching.